I've done many videos on chia seeds, but I want to dig a little deeper. I want you to really understand what's happening inside your stomach as well as your intestines when you're eating chia seeds. If you look right here, this is one tablespoon of chia seed with no water. If you look here, this is also one tablespoon of chia seed in water. And this has been in about 20 to 25 minutes. And when you put those chia seeds in water and they soak in them, they will swell up to 12 times the size of these chia seeds right here that are not in water. So why is this important? Well, first of all, chia seeds are not only great when it comes to omega-3s, it's not only great when it comes to fiber, but it's the soluble fiber. It's the mucilage. It's the sticky stuff. Here, let me show you. So if you look how thick it is, this is in water, and the water is not even making its way out. And if you look at what's floating in here, that is like a gel. That's the mucilage coming out. Now imagine this, when it gets in your stomach, it starts to swell and it's already swollen because you need to soak this at least 15, 20 minutes before you drink it. Except if you put it in a smoothie, it's okay. But the longer you let this soak, the more it swells. And that means when you drink this down, you may put some lemon, you may put it in a, a tea, but if you just drink this down by itself, you may want to put some honey in it, it's going to do many physiological things for your body. One, that swelling is going to tell the brain, I'm not hungry. You're going to have lots of satiety. Two, it's going to slow the digestion of that chia seed making its way into the small intestine in the duodenum. And this is going to help slow down the absorption of sugars that's trying to get into the cells of your body. You're never going to get that spike of sugar. Insulin doesn't have to overly work. It takes stress off the pancreas. And what else does this do? Well, this is soluble fiber. Soluble fiber, you don't get calories from. So let's say a tablespoon is approximately 5.1 uh, grams of carbohydrates. Well, it's also 4.1 grams of fiber. And if you do the math, if you subtract the five minus the four, you get about one gram of fiber in one tablespoon of chia seed. Soluble fiber does so many things when it comes to helping heart disease, cardiovascular disease, helping your arteries. Why? Because this will latch on to cholesterol. It lowers cholesterol, your LDLs, your low density lipoproteins, it lowers your bad triglycerides. This has the effect to raise your good cholesterol, your HDLs. And that is when you have bad cholesterol, high triglycerides, this causes placking in the arteries. As this chia seed mixture is going down into your intestines because it's not going to assimilate in the small intestine because we don't have the enzymes to digest soluble fiber. So it makes its way into the colon. And that's where your probiotics are. That's your microbiome. And when that soluble fiber meets with those probiotics, that's breakfast for them, that's lunch for them, that's dinner for them, and they get really excited. Why? Because this is how your microbiome grows, by feeding on the soluble fiber. And the end result of those probiotics feeding on those prebiotics is it secretes short-chain fatty acids. And short-chain fatty acids are those fatty acids that do wonderful things for the health and wealth of your body, but particularly to the colon, mainly butyrate. Butyrate protects the colon. It's the colonocytes that it actually works with to help keep it strong to prevent cancers. So not only that, it will reduce inflammation throughout your entire body, throughout your organs. This has a direct effect with your brain because serotonin works along with the brain from the gut, as well as your immune system keeping your immune system strong. And so let's look at the chia seed now, just a few minutes later than when I showed you. Look how thick it is. It's not even dripping out. Pretty amazing. 
And remember that your stomach is about the size of your fist, and it can definitely swell many, many times larger. But when you put this soluble fiber in your stomach, you're gonna feel so much satiety. Your, your cravings are gonna go away. Your hormones are gonna get better. You're not going to crave sugars, and you will definitely start to take off those pounds. As long as you stay with a healthy diet and do your exercise. And lastly, that mucilage helps coat your stomach. So many people have acid reflux. This is wonderful for acid reflux. It allows the inner part of your stomach to heal and repair. It coats your intestines. It increases peristalsis, increases movement through your intestines. So that excessive waste that may be toxic that you're holding on to for many days. So it can make its way out of your system so you can start to feel so much better. It will get rid of that bloating. You're gonna have more energy. So start supplementing with chia seeds. It's great to soak it. You can make chia seed puddings. There's so many different things you can do. Some people, even if you wanna ground it, which you don't have to, soaking is always best. I don't advise to chew them dry because you don't want to, you don't want that chia seed to expand inside your esophagus. I really hope that this video made a lot of sense to you. Utilize chia seeds. I believe it could do wonderful things for your health and for your body. Please share this video with your friends and family. Leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.